Hello and happy 2022. To kick off the year, I thought I would share how I plan my crafting goals. I first started using this method in December 2019. It's actually more of a monthly thing than a yearly, but I like to give my goal project list a complete overhaul at the beginning of each year. The list itself is pretty simple, just a checklist in the notes section of my phone, but I really enjoy the process of going through all of my saved inspiration and really reflecting on what projects I want to accomplish and what projects I've lost interest in and why. The first thing I did was write down any projects that are in work that I intend to finish this year. I set myself a focus of wanting to flesh out my wardrobe a little bit with some more handmade garments. To work out what I wanted to add, I first decided to go through all of my Pinterest boards. I wrote down any projects that I have a burning desire to add to my wardrobe and that I think I could tackle pretty quickly and soon. I then went over to Ravelry, where I looked at my queue, my favorites, and my library, and wrote down all of the must-have knits in there that I didn't think would take too long to knit. I tend to sort of knit in two categories. One is quick projects slash things that I really want the finished object of. And then the second is projects that are going to take a little bit longer and I really want to take my time and enjoy the process of knitting it. I then add any garments that I know I want to add to my wardrobe from my sewing patterns or just from general categories like black pants. Finally, I look at any other miscellaneous projects that I want to try my hand at, usually developing new skills or building on skills that I've learned relatively recently, like learning to make a prop sword. Since my focus is on my wardrobe this year, I added a note to myself that through 2021, I really liked layering garments. So a focus on things like blouses, pinafores, and overalls would be a great spot to fill in some of the gaps in my wardrobe. While this is a great start for the beginning of the year and my goal projects, I know that my tastes will change based on the media that I consume, the influence of what my friends are making, the skills that I learn, and the projects that I do complete. To keep the list both in my mind and adapting to these changes, I like to revise it at the beginning of each month. I can look at what I've finished so far and rethink the projects that are still on the list. Some projects get entirely scrapped, some get more specific, and some will morph into iterations of a similar project idea. As I complete each project, I just tick the box in my little notes section, and I like to move it to the top so that I get everything that I've completed so far, as well as everything that I still want to complete. I have yet to completely tick off everything on my list, and I like that it sort of is organic and just keeps growing and changing and morphing. So that's how I like to run my goal project list. How do you like to set your crafting goals? Do you use a similar method or do you like to go more in depth and do a full plan? Or do you just like to go wherever the creative winds take you? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, you can check out my other videos. And if you really like this video, you can feel free to subscribe. I hope you have a lovely week. Bye.